Hello and welcome to season two of Pretend Friends. My name is Kevin. I'm Paul. I'm Nick. Hi, I'm Josh. And usually, uh, if you wa- if you saw season one, usually we're in space and usually I DM, but we're switching things up this season. Um, and in order to bring us into a, a lovely new fantasy realm, uh, we we've brought on a guest DM. Everybody, welcome Hadley St. Clair. Hello! Uh, I am uh, usually a writer, so I'm usually not talking out loud. I'm usually putting my words on some kind of paper or a computer or talking something. Talking is kind of like writing with your mouth hole. Yeah, it, it's it air writing, yeah. It's writing, but there's consequences immediately. That's true. Immediate <laughs> oral consequences. Oh, it's live writing. Ooh. <laughs> uh, write that down, NPC name, oral consequences. <laughs> oral and oral. <laughs> Hadley uh, wrote... Hack, which is a video game that I helped make, and Hadley wrote all of the wonderful story and characters and words in it. Hadley has also been part of the Space King's development for the past five years by showing up every week uh, and even uh, DMing a few sessions of Space Kings. And Hadley has put together uh, Fantasy Hour, which is a fantasy version of the Space King's rule set with new rules and a, a cool, thought-out world instead of like a random, a randomly put together world. Wait, do, that don't do. undersell. Don't undersell your cool world, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Have don't it. don't punch yourself down. Show. Uh, well, I have I I have a lot of I have a lot of respect for what Hadley does, and I'm excited to enter this fantasy world of Fantasy Hour. Thank you. Yeah, it'll be interesting. So no more. Uh, Space convenience stores, it'll be ye olde 7 <laughs> ye olde. Mm-hmm. Ye olde. <laughs> Hallie, can you give us like a word picture, like an establishing shot of where we are? Oh. Yeah, that was, I was actually planning on doing so. Amazing. <laughs> Sorry, I pulled up the wrong document. <laughs> <laughs> Waltria, a kingdom once full of conquerors, now more peaceful, quieter. We see a rolling plain at the edge of a vast forest, and at the outskirts of these plains, mountains, spiking high into the clouds. Between the forest and the grasslands and the mountains, there is a small blip, just a tiny town, surrounded by a firm stone wall crumbling at the edges but still upright. This is Tackby City. It is just beginning to wake up early in the morning. It's busy markets unfurling their tables and wares. I and... can hear it. Okay. <laughs> and Josh can hear it. It's like I'm there. I'm serious. It's like... I think my camera's further out. I still can't hear it yet, but I'm trying. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. License. Zoom in. Listen real hard. So, it kind of if you like... zoom in once, if you zoom in once <laughs> oh, and yeah, then okay. again... There it is. Okay. Oh, there if they are. Zoom in once again. What you will see is uh, a bustling marketplace, kind of just getting into their day. Okay. Uh, people are putting out tables and opening their wagons. Uh, people are kind of beginning to mill around as the sun comes out. Uh, and uh, we will first uh, meet a kind of shady figure who is sitting in an alleyway just outside this bustling market. Uh, hood up over their shoulders. Cool. Um, and one hand outstretched, and this person's kind of turning their hand over, and it's just a skeleton. There's no skin or flesh. <laughs> so bony. Is, <laughs> says Deadward Arm <laughs> Mero to, to himself. <laughs> oh, so bony. Wow, so bony. <laughs> <laughs> This is a skeleton man who is kind of just observing the scene as people go about their day, almost as if he's following a lead. Deadward, as you look out uh, across this marketplace, you kind of see some wagons kind of 
bustling by. You see a few people kind of shuffling pigs and, and sheep to their respective homes. How do you shuffle a pig, Hadley? <laughs> With a broom? <laughs> okay, <laughs> you want to pick up your deck of pigs. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then split them into two equal decks. Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Yeah, make a pig bridge. So you know, you already know. I, that was you a didn't stupid need to ask question. Me. I'm sorry. Well, don't I, bend I your like... pigs, though. Don't bend them. I see you bending them all the time. Oh, no, you gotta work them in. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta work, work them. They gotta be loose. Yeah. You gotta shuffle them in. You don't. You don't bend them in. I feel like it's a real challenge to keep pigs orderly moving in in unison. It like, would be tough, I would think. Are you calling us pigs, Kevin? <laughs> I'm not a cop, Kevin. You have to tell me if you are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one cop can't lie to another cop or a, a, or another person. That's cop law. Yeah. yeah, that's actually an ancient blood pact <laughs> that all cops have to take. Uh, we got a Blink One Eighty Two in progress. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What's what's wow. my age again? <laughs> <laughs> Deadward, as you look across uh, this market as it's waking up, you see uh, a bit of an unusual sight for Tackby. Uh You see what appears to be a troll, but a very short troll, kind mm. of talking to a merchant very slowly. Uh, and beside this troll, just kind of looking at him, either in confusion or honest respect, uh, appears to be a tree. Just a dang ass tree. A just dang chilling. ass tree. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Hello, merchant. I would like to buy some groceries. <laughs> uh, you don't want <laughs> this one. I pick up a, a fruit and squeeze it, and it just explodes in my head. Oh my Too God. ripe. Too ripe. <laughs> uh, are you talking? Are you both talking to the same merchant? I'm talking yes. to I. Uh, the tree man is talking to the troll right now, advising, like shopping over his shoulder for him. Ah, uh, okay. Shopping. Backseat shopping. So <laughs> the two of you, the two of you, have basically cornered. Uh, a kind of a middle-aged human man who just seems like, of course, this would happen to me today, uh, and he's he's looking all the way up uh, at Snorkel, the half troll, uh, in just abject fear, just just absolute terror. He really sees the skeleton walk. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I read the situation? Yeah, you want to read the room? Yeah. You can, I can tell you don't have to flip for that. The room is that this man is going to piss himself any second. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, he has got... Our first urination on the show. <laughs> yeah. Episode one. It'll first be, time. Oh, get ready. One. Get ready. He's got like an array of oranges and apples and stuff. And like he's just, he's like still got his little hat on. Like he wore that in from the fields and he's just scared. <laughs> and he's he's looking up at you like, please, please. Um, I, I, I don't, I, whatever you want. Um. Please. I take out, I take out um, a tiny, even for a person, coin purse. <laughs> it's super <laughs> tiny. <laughs> How are you gonna get Good. these coins out of there? I just reach into like my front shirt vest pocket <laughs> <laughs> and I produce just the tiniest little purse of copper coins. <laughs> Some of them minted. I minted myself. <laughs> Is that legal? <laughs> I guess, I guess it would it's be. just copper. Yeah, it's just <laughs> copper, right? It would be. Uh, I'm going to say at least so, some of them are buttons. <laughs> oh, okay. my God. If you have a good ratio of buttons. Yeah. You don't know. Maybe this guy's into buttons. Maybe. I don't know how many buttons of fruit is worth, but I'm going to make my initial offer. Ah, oh, sick. Are those buttons? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, what's your initial offer? Um, I'm going to say it's uh, four pieces of copper and two buttons for uh, the, the the fruit we crushed, and also two fruits for breakfast. You're gonna pay for that fruit? You're seriously gonna pay for that fruit? <laughs> it's the white thing just, to do. I think just you're just advised strong. you that it was poor fruit. You don't want to buy that. Well, fruit. you smashed well, it. I respect your feelings <laughs> and your expertise, but we have a craftsperson here who's just trying to make their way. I'm just saying. Aren't you, know, you tiny person? If you want to buy overripe fruit, go ahead. That's, that's your prerogative, dude. Go ahead. Do you mean me? <laughs> yeah, I mean, sorry. I haven't met your name, fair gallant merchant. <laughs> and I do a little I do a little bow. I do a, a, a little bow. A little bow, like a head tuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, he, he cowers. Uh-oh. He, like, he like thinks you're coming at him and just dives under the table. Oh, man, he's going to whiz hard. <laughs> that whiz is going to fly worry. out of his wiener. <laughs> At least half of me is like you, and maybe a bit more. <laughs> what does that mean? You, s- you see just a human hand come up, like palm outstretched, to take your coin. <laughs> I-, I wink with one eye, and then I wink with the other eye, and then I wink with the other eye. 
He can't see you, he's under the table. <laughs> All right, well, we're cool, right? That's enough buttons. Please leave. Please leave. <laughs> I tip him another button and, and we take our fruit. Oh, wait. Okay. Sorry, I need to throw down another uh, copper for another piece of fruit for... Um, uh, for uh, Sweetums? What's your tri- Sweetums, your sugar glider. Yeah, so a little sugar glider will like poke Man. its head out of my branches and just fly down and grab it. Be like, thank you. Nothing as pure as Kevin's can survive in this world. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going to go well. I'm walking around with the target on me. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> At least he knows. Ken and Snorkel, as you have thoroughly terrified this fruit merchant, uh, you turn around and see immediately behind you. Uh, a company of Queen's Guard have showed up, uh, and they're heavily armored and gold plate, and they're booking it through town to uh, a central posting board at the other side of the market, uh, where people put up notices and flyers. And the Queen's Guard pull up in front of it, and one of them steps forward and plasters up a huge wanted poster. And oh, no. you can read, even at a distance, well, Snorkel, you can't read this, but Ken, <laughs> I assume you can. Uh, the how word says how money reward. Works and he can't the, tr- the tree knows how to read. The, the, the half work does not. The tree does. You never not. know what you're going to get on, on Fantasy <laughs> What was it saying? It says reward, and it also says 50,000 gold pieces. Oh, Holy shit. Oh, reward. You can't read the rest of it at this distance, though. I, I flip up my, my tiny person-sized hood over my head. It covers half of your head. Yep. Oh so it's God. just kind of a bandana. It's like a swim cap. <laughs> swim cap. It's like that type. Or like a do-rag. It looks like a do-rag. Oh, yeah. dude, a do-rag. It's more like a yarmulke. Okay, yeah, it's even better. <laughs> I love other cultures. <laughs> <laughs> it's just patently ridiculous. <laughs> I'm fooling no one. You're trying to fit in. You're doing your best. Um, I think it's admirable how much yeah, you're trying. You're 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 doing a great job. Has the five O left? Uh, the guard a- after they put up this poster, they make their way out of the market, and you can see them holding what seem to be other posters. So they're going to be putting these up around town. They're gonna be posting all day. Okay. Ken, have we been have we been traveling for a while? You think with each other? Do we know? Yeah, each other I think we're well? I think we're good friends. I think I'm mostly there as a fruit advisor for you. He would you know. Can also read. <laughs> I can, I'm a reader and fruit advisor for you. Fruit comes from his armpits. Yeah. yeah. This, this guy knows great. fruit. Does it? This is great because I was sent out for groceries three months ago. <laughs> oh my God. Quite a journey. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've all been there. You know what I mean. <laughs> I keep wanting to know what posters say. (laughs) (laughs) It's his hobby. Come on, buddy. Let's go read it. Let's go. (laughs) I'm like watching this. I'm like, I cannot stop watching these two. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. We pink panther sneak up to the... (laughs) Everyone is looking at you. The entire market is staring at you. But, like, they're trying not to be rude about it, but they're definitely watching. As you get closer, you can now read the poster. uh, And the smaller print above the reward says, Wanted. Information on possible acts of necromancy in (gasps) Tacby. Uh-oh. I say at the top of my enormous lungs... Necromancy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the like, whole market is still staring at you, but they're not trying to pretend that they aren't anymore. <laughs> they're just staring. There's one bird noise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it also says in very tiny print at the bottom, apply to Tanner at the Half Flagon Inn. I assume Ken is reading this out loud. Yeah, I'm reading it out loud. I'm just going to be like, that's, I mean, do you want to... Is there something you want to like look into here? It sounds like an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Your enthusiasm fills me with so much joy in life. I cannot even begin to describe how empty my life would be without your joy. Think of it, Ken. We could be brave knights. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking adorable. I Ken love him. Is just looking at you with so much love and he says I'm seeing the world again through your eyes nothing this good this can c- live <laughs> this could be a big break I will follow you anywhere to the depths of hell this is how people get noticed 
I love your optimism. I love your energy. Let's fucking do this. Ken, you are aware of where this inn is, mm -hmm. uh, and you know that it's a very close walk. Okay. Uh, and as you are taking shortcuts, your path takes you directly past uh, kind of a shady looking dude who's just huddling in an alleyway like a weirdo. Tr like trying to be casual, but like so trying that you instantly clock that there's a person trying to be casual. I'm gonna nudge, I'm gonna nudge uh, Snorkel and be like, you might want to like take some fashion advice from that guy because like, look at his hood. Look how it fits him. I've been telling Perfectly you for so long. His face. That's how a hood Shady Alwiesman. That hood is perfect, right? Hey, you guys uh, talk about my hood? You want to advise my friend on hood sizes here? We're we're so high above him, like that, like we'll, we would never be able to see his face oh, unless no. he cranked no. it all the way up. Also, you're you're in an alleyway, and uh, Snorkel, you are currently turned like sideways. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to fit in the alleyway. <laughs> snorkel, Snorkel, be can you bend down a bit? Can you can like bend down and just show him the top? Of your <laughs> I'm like scraping on the sides of the. <laughs> you hit your face on the side of the building. I'm scraping my building! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I am very wad. <laughs> Check this out. Look at this shit on the top of his head. I mean, I love it. I love the joy that he gets from wearing this thing. But please. I'm not sneaky. I'm not, I'm not cash, you know? <laughs> you just gotta, like, pretend. That's all, man. Just, like... Listen, alleywaysman. Uh, I didn't get your name. Oh, I... M. Newherton. <laughs> what? <laughs> Newherton? Can we just call you Newt? Newt. Sure. <laughs> Newt. D Nick, do, do you want to flip lying? Oh, yeah, yeah, you got to lie. You I don't got have no any lying. lying. I have no first, lying. First flip of the of the entire thing is going to be a lie. Probably should have gone lying as an attribute no for you. No lying. <laughs> Do you have charm? I have some charm, yep. All right, so give, give me that sweet, sweet charm. And I'm healthy, no successes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this this guy is absolutely lying to your face. This is His name is not Newt. I don't believe that's your name, but I recognize that you would want to protect yourself. Yeah, there's a lot of humans here. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. Didn't notice that. <laughs> <laughs> Snorkel doesn't think about that stuff. <laughs> so I'm yeah, just... my, my friend here doesn't really see race ah, or gotcha. species or species or right. clothing size. They're called ancestries. <laughs> ancestries or words or some pictures. Gotcha. <laughs> or, well, yeah. here's here's a big old headline for you. Okay, these are a lot of humans. We're in a human niche human town. Are you and... are you doing a hand motion while you do this? I'm just I'm just uh. Is your, are you, Nick was it's doing a, a circular hand motion. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I think, yeah. did we catch a glimpse of his little yeah. ske skeleton hand coming oh, out? Oh, yeah, you just, you just saw like a hand that was nothing but bones. Oh, my God, so fucking gross. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Can I have a side call with you, Ken? Yeah, let's, let's, <laughs> let's, uh, let's step over here. Snorkel, you have to like scooch sideways. <laughs> And you, as you do, you can hear from the wall behind you like bits of plaster <laughs> coming down and like, like ruining this person's oh, house. I, I am in, I am in no way um, covering my voice or speaking uh, <laughs> less. I am merely talking to my friend, but I'm expecting that uh, our new, our new alley friend will be honorable and not listen in on our incredibly loud conversation. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Um, Remember that sign you read to me? Yeah, 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 I remember, yeah, uh-huh. With the necromancer. The one that you got really excited about, yeah. <laughs> yeah, with the uh -huh. necromancy. I bet this guy would know where to find him. We should uh -huh. talk to him about it. He's kind of like, just from the looks of him, he's like the, he's like a tree human. He kind of <laughs> looks like a tree human. <laughs> He's got branches. Do you see that? You know how humans have their trunks on the inside? Yeah, he's like the inside of a human tree. Ken. <laughs> How, are you the, how did you learn so much about humans? I'm just intuitive like that, man. That's all. Sorry, how did you learn so much? <laughs> learn? Oh, man. That's going to be tough. Yeah, that's going to be hard. <laughs> well, pleasure to meet you. I have to go now. Thank you. Wait, wait. Oh, wait, Snorkel, wait. It, it would appear that he did listen in on our conversation, so your trust was, mis was misguided. I'm like running down the thing. I did. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> wait, come back. Oh, my God. That was our lead. 
I can't chase them down the alley. You and I both try to go down the alley at the same time and get <laughs> stuck together. Deadward, uh, as you're running just just kind of down to the other end of the alley, you're aware uh, that probably the market's a bust now that there has been a huge scene made. Uh, but you are aware uh, that you could do some good eavesdropping at the inn around the corner. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to lose them. Do a little peek around two corners and then head to that old inn. Is there a parkour <laughs> stat? <laughs> <laughs> Athletics. Like some barrel yes! parkour. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to head to that inn because I think it would be a good place for leads. Journalism. What is a skeleton drink? That sounds like a joke milk? that I'm making, but I'm, no, I'm honestly yeah, calcium curious. Is milk, good. probably. Yeah, yeah definitely milk. milk. One milk, please. And it just like uh, runs down his ribs and just coats him. <laughs> probably Sick. a bunch of uh, white Walteries. <laughs> white Walteries. <laughs> Like white Russian. <laughs> um, actually, it's. Would you believe I've made drinks? I I do know what you can order at this inn. I totally believe it. Yeah, let's, let's hear it. Believe that. It would be uh probably you'd be going for the the shanty town whiskey. <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds, sounds pretty great. good. It sounds very good for your osteoporosis too. Yeah. Maybe if you're in the mood for uh, for beer, you could check out a Temple Quarter Pale Ale. Ooh. <laughs> I'll go with that Great whiskey. Great thing about being a skeleton, good. no hangover. <laughs> yeah, I just drink it goes right through. True. <laughs> uh, Gotta fit in. Edward, you do you do some uh, some elusive dodges through some alleyways. They're not following you. You just really want to look cool. We physically can't follow you. <laughs> <laughs> I you know. Do, you do look very cool, though. <laughs> uh, you eventually make it to the doorway of the Half Flagon Inn, which is a place where you usually meet with sources or people who don't know that they're sources yet uh, and get information. You find that it is fairly busy for about 8 a.m. on a weekday. Um, (laughs) And you see uh, the bartender there, uh, who's a centaur that you know. Oh, yes. Uh, And he kind of gives you a nod uh, as you come in. He knows you as person who is always 100% covered by fabric. So he doesn't know <laughs> he's a skeleton. He has absolutely no idea who or what you are, but he doesn't care because you pay. All it's right. Sweet, like, X-Men stuff going on yeah, right now. Dude. Yeah, dude. pretty sweet. You could be a carpet golem to this guy. There weren't as many puns for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, shaggy too dope. <laughs> shaggy too rope. Shaggy too rope. Oh, man. There it is, dude. Holy shit, that wow. just gave me a brain tumor. Whoa. <laughs> <was> so good. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Save it for season three. <laughs> Save it for when your character's dying. <laughs> oh, no. I think that's going to happen this time. Oh, no. Oh, man. Uh, also, uh, at the bar, kind of sandwiched amongst the regulars, you see a gnome that you don't recognize at all, uh, huh. and she is absolutely slinging back shots. I love shots! <laughs> well, I think I'll fit in great here. Tuesday, what even day is that even? Did, did Tindy ever go to sleep? Tindy never sleeps! <laughs> <laughs> what happens in Tindy stays in Tindy! <laughs> is Tindy the Kesha of this universe? Who the hell's Kesha? <laughs> I don't like her. Tindy, you are currently drinking off the last few days of drunkenness. Ah, uh, I'm so drunk. <laughs> <laughs> at this at this bar, you are kind of aware, like in the back of your mind, the very small part of you that is still sober, mm. uh, that a lot of people are coming in all of a sudden, and that's weird, because you're used to having the bar to yourself. A lot of people are coming in all of a sudden, <laughs> which is weird, because I'm used to having the bar by myself. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what this clothes guy is. I don't know. <laughs> uh, and Tindy, as you're kind of like observing people coming in and just like just drunkenly looking toward the door uh a literal tree kind of edges like bends over a little bit and gets in the doorway <laughs> and you also see just a massive torso and legs filling the doorway can i roll for catchphrase yeah flip what it. the hell is the flip for catchphrase charm right charm and perform oh Do man it. okay so i got four and i'm healthy oh, man one, two. wow dude i got nothing Jeez. That's a Damn it, this was going to be good, too. Three oh. nines? That's so, impressive. So I guess instead you kind of just like burp up a little vomit. 
I was gonna, I was gonna say the fire burp. That's a big birch. <laughs> <laughs> that's a huge birch. <laughs> that's a big birch. But now hey, uh, I'll birch. just be like, <laughs> <laughs> I just Ken just looks for like a for longer than probably sh- is, is polite at that, and then just cle- clears his throat. <clears> throat. Has anyone seen the inside of a human in here? <laughs> I'm just going to sneak over to your booth and, hey, uh, pretend like I've been here all day. Thank you. You haven't been here all day? <laughs> yep. Okay, Mr. Clunky Man. Hadley, can, can, uh, do I fit in? Like, I, don't, I know I don't fit in, but like. Um, the doorway is made for humans. Okay. Um, you don't fit. You could, like, crawl. Is there, like, a window I can just kind of, like. <laughs> Like, yeah, there's a second. There's a second story window, and you peer into it, and it's like a bedroom. Whoopsie! <laughs> my bad, very sorry. Is it? I guess. I guess I'll just chill by the door and kind of try and. Why don't you just lay down? Yeah, lay down. Just on lay the ground. down and like look in. You could yeah. crawl in. You oh, can yeah. fit like if you just got on your hands and knees, you could crawl like in. Like when those the dogs pub. get stuck in the dog door. <laughs> and just and just like knock away every table. On my way it's to just the a park. noisy, heart horrific entrance. You're eleven feet tall, not thirty feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like crawling in would be a little demeaning, but I mean, how bad do you want it? <laughs> I just, I'll just start clearing <laughs> stuff out of the way. I'm just like making it's like room you're, for it's you. Like you've been here Hold before. on a second. Hold yeah. on one second. My he friends does this come every time. This is just a part of the process now. It's part of being his friend. You start, uh, you start clearing tables, and uh, some of the people who are sitting at them are confused, but help you anyway. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Um, Thank you. They, they don't know what's going on, but. They can see that there is someone who can't fit, so they're gonna try to help you make room. Oh, that's very nice. You're so accommodating in this town. This is great. <laughs> in in the middle of all of this, a man in gold uniform walks up to you, uh, and just kind of gives you like Ken, like the longest once over you've ever had in your life. Okay, almost a twice over. That's like a thrice, thrice over, over to me. <laughs> it's it's like if you could do a triple take, but without actually looking away. That's what this man is doing. Uh, <laughs> He is uh, a human, probably in his mid thirties, uh, with kind of scraggly blonde hair. Uh, but he's he's dressed very nicely in the uniform of the Queen's Guard. Ah. And he just just gives you this pensive look, uh, helps you move a table very slowly, uh, and then says, "Are you here for the reward?" He's a he's a knight, and I'm the biggest like knight fanboy. <laughs> this dude loves knights. <laughs> I can't even be like, he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just put my arm around Snorkel. Yes. I, Snorkel just laughs nervously. You've put your arm around just like his his neck and shoulders. <laughs> uh, his his whole body's not in, in yet. So yeah. I pull him over a little bit. Yes, we are. <laughs> I'm, st- I'm still hyperventilating, but in a good way. <laughs> right, right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh I'm Tanner. Can I can I help you with oh, anything? This is Tanner. Perfect. This is very uncomfortable. You're the man from the poster. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's that's me. You're famous. <laughs> pictures pictures uh, are kind of his thing. So yeah, he gets really excited when he sees a person that was in a picture. <laughs> uh, T- Tanner just gives you a really slow nod, like he has no idea what to make of what's going on right I, now. I, I slow nod right back at him, <laughs> not breaking eye contact for a single second. <laughs> You're like Chris Farley. Remember when you were in the nights? <laughs> remember, remember when they put that fire up of you? Mm-hmm. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That was awesome. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs> Remember when your your armor was all gold? <laughs> that was awesome. Uh, oh, he, he's he's wear he's wearing. I'm physically it. wearing it. Yes. Um, I didn't cool. take it off. I forget that we saw anything related to necromancy on the way. Over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, uh, Tanner, we uh, we had a lead, but uh, we got stuck. And he uh, he got away. Literally, literally stuck. We got stuck. <laughs> All right. Um, what what was the lead? Um, what was the lead? <laughs> we met a guy. We met a guy. <laughs> what was his name? What was his name? Uh, Newter here in Newman. 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 <laughs> Newman. <laughs> 
<laughs> Newman Townsy. Yeah, Newman Townsy. That's what it was. Uh, are, are you sure? I mean, did we see him? Yeah, we're positive we saw him. <laughs> That's what he said his name was, but I got the feeling that he may have been concealing his identity with a lie. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. Um, I'm not sure how helpful that is, but thank you uh, f- for trying. Um, good job. I think. Is it worth any reward? Like even like a small amount of reward? Some buttons, maybe. Yeah. We accept, <laughs> Some buttons. We accept buttons, ripe fruit, nuts from my friend up here. And I point to Sweetums. Um, I'll, you know, would you like a drink? <laughs> uh, Tanner just, uh, Tanner just gives you like, the, like a side eye that is like, what the fuck do these people want? Uh, and then just goes to the bar, purchases two pale ales, and just brings them back over. Snorkel, it like barely fits in your hand. <laughs> like, like it's, 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 a, it's very small. We both look at each other like, yeah, we drink beer all the time. Uh-huh. <laughs> I know what to do with this. <laughs> totally love drinking this liquid. I start pouring it on my roots. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fastest way. I I also pour it on my feet. <laughs> he knows everything about humans, so this must be the thing to do. <laughs> and then you're like, mm, it's nice and cool, delicious. <laughs> uh, Tanner takes like a long look and just steps back. <laughs> just, he just backs up and he's like, uh, "All right, if you um, if you come up with anything, uh, I'll be here. Um, just." Oh, yep. Oh, bye. <laughs> you wasted beer. <laughs> I lean over to I lean over to Snorkel and be like, "A knight just bought you beer. This is the best day ever. <laughs> We're having the best trip ever. We're making it. This is it. <laughs> We've been discovered." <laughs> hey, those two uh, gigantors still over there? Yeah, they're pouring beer all over their feet. I don't know what. Okay, okay, beer. cool, cool. Don't look at them. Don't look at them. I look at who? I'm looking at them. I would prefer if you didn't look at them. I lay. Hey, are those uh, are those guys looking at us? I think they saw you. You see those guys uh, looking at us over there? Yeah. Hi. They must think we're famous now. Let's go sign <laughs> autographs for them. Yeah, we saunter up, being like, "Hello." You crawl. Yeah, crawl. we're crawling over, you can, <laughs> trailing. You can. I don't have enough room to saunter. Actually, uh, actually, now that you're inside uh, the room. Snorkel, you can actually stand. Like duck down. Your head is just kind of bumping the ceiling. All right. So you have to kind of lean over like a little bit. You have to hunch your shoulders. But yeah, you can yeah, stand. Yeah. How how tall is Snorkel again? 11 feet. Okay. Or so 10, I, oh, 10 foot 11. 10 foot 11. Okay. So I can stand comfortably in this room then. Okay. Ow. Mind the beams. <laughs> mind the beams. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, dear friends. Would you like an autograph? A what? Uh-huh. We're famous. I never heard of you. Who are you? I'm Snorkel. This is my friend Ken. Hi. I'm Um, Tandy. And a knight just bought us beer. Congratulations. Has anyone ever bought you guys beer? You could buy me one right now. (laughs) Hey. What? (laughs) If we did that, then she'll be famous and we'll have a famous friend. Uh, yeah. (laughs) Do you want to get famous too, friend? (laughs) Wait. I recognize this guy. Oh, it's Hood Guy. It's from the alley. Uh, yeah, it's Alley Hood Guy. It's Newtonian man, man child. Newtonian, <laughs> why now? Oh, uh, no, that's not me. That's, uh... The guy with the skull hand, I say very loud. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sounds no. like you're already famous. Oh, no. <laughs> A couple people turn and look, but really nobody... Nobody knows what to make of the phrase "the guy with the skull hand." <laughs> so skull hand, skull hand. Who's carry no, skulls nobody's around? interested. He's got a sweet tattoo. <laughs> uh, the bartender, uh, who is uh, kind of a Palomino centaur, uh, <laughs> they are just wa- a breed and wow, a color. Wow! Look at that. <laughs> My one horse fact I know is that Palominos are a breed and a color. Wow! And he loves to talk about it. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> so this centaur just kind of wanders up and leans on the bar and is like, all right, what can I get you? Just um, looks around expectantly to all of you. Uh, can, I, I'm going to look to Snorkel and, because Snorkel is the one who has our money purse. Um, I, I again retrieve my very tiny purse. I clip it open and I dump it out on the bar. And it's like um, a, a live cricket which, which hops away. <laughs> <laughs> 
about eight buttons and a dozen copper pieces. So rich. And say, whoa, that get me. He looks he looks at the assortment uh, and, and looks my, at you. And my big, big smile. <laughs> uh, do you, uh, mm, he looks at the assortment, he looks at you uh, and just says, nothing here, friend. Well, it was a good ride while it lasted, Ken. <laughs> I, I scoop up my copper pieces and my and my buttons back into my bag, and then I go looking for that cricket. The flame that burns <laughs> twice as fast doesn't get me any alcohol, I guess. <laughs> All right. Hey, hey, look. I'll buy you guys drinks if you just chill out and stop being crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> Are we yelling now? <laughs> <laughs> I I gotta go. <laughs> You're all just yelling randomly. Uh, the bartender's like, hey, 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 hey. Keep it down. Sorry. Woo. So, sorry. It's all right. Sorry. <sighs> wow. I'm living life. This is what humans do when we relax, right? <laughs> yeah. Hey, try to fit in. Try to be like humans for a second. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. A bunch of humans here, and we're a bunch of oddities, so let's chill. Stocks and bonds. Let's chill. <laughs> there's actually, uh, in the bar, there's pretty much a mixed assortment humans, elves, uh, orcs, various other races. It seems to be a pretty chill place, uh, and a lot of them are kind of crowded around Tanner anyway. Sorry, so they're not paying a huge here. amount of attention. Oh, good. Okay. Okay. Uh, is, is anyone uh, playing music? Ooh. No, it's eight in the morning. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Not for Tendi. Mm. <laughs> it's five o'clock Tendi it's got, hour. It's got to be Luda Clock somewhere. <laughs> Luda Clock somewhere. It's a pretty big uh, pub area at the bottom floor of this inn. There is a stage in one corner. It is currently empty. Uh, and all the booths have been forcibly rearranged. But you think maybe it's usually a pretty cozy environment hmm. right now there are a bunch of tables stacked on top of each other <laughs> so the the wanted poster we found was was for information relating to necromancers or for the actual like whereabouts of a necromancer uh it was it was basically saying if you can give us information about uh possible necromantic activity necromantic yeah necromantic. Necromantic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah let's go with that isn't that uh, when you love dead people though necromantic yes. Sure. <laughs> when you're in love with it. Yeah, person. you want to be really necromantic to them. That could be that could work out really good for Deadward. <laughs> Dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Deadward. I bring up this information to the group very casually and be like, if we can find a necromancer, perhaps we could become even more famous. Hmm. I mean, I do like getting free alcohol. <laughs> and as we found out, this town respects fame. Greatly, yeah. yeah, but it doesn't look like respect. they respect dead people or things. Why would you even say that? Who's dead? I'm just saying that's that would be crazy. A something dead guy I, walking around. So, so, no, crazy? no, I'm just saying it's something I noticed. <laughs> did you hear this guy talking about dead people walking around? <laughs> I did. I did hear. That's him. crazy, that, right? That'd be weird. That'd be crazy. Yeah, <laughs> good um, thing that's not yep, that. <laughs> totally crazy. <laughs> we just sort of, we just sort of like. Da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> Just tap my fingers on the thing. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Is Tanner still in the bar? Yep, he is still in the bar. He is uh, kind of going through people, uh, talking to each of them in turn, and then politely nodding to them or shaking his head, and they'll can leave. I, can I lean an ear in and see what they're jawing about? Sure. Subtly. <laughs> Subtly. Yeah. Um, What's she talk about? <laughs> Suddenly, the eleven-foot creature walks over. <laughs> yeah, you like lean, you like lean in that direction. Uh, give me. Uh, I feel like that's wit investigation. A three for my wit, and then one for being healthy, and then I have no investigation, but I get two successes. Yes. Okay. Uh, you can hear uh, kind of this conversation between Tanner and this orc woman. Um, mm. And she's she's very insistent that she saw what she saw and she's not lying and he's lying. Uh, and Tanner's saying, listen, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. I need you to calm down and just back up a little bit. Thank you. Look, it's been a bad day. The mayor is kind of freaked out. I do... I do believe that you saw 
A, uh, and he checks a notebook. Flying monkey throwing skulls at people <laughs> walking in the street. I do believe you that you saw that. But I am actually going to have to ask you to either come back with me and show me where that was, or just leave because I really don't think you want to start a fight here. Uh, he is, he's is just trying to convince her not to make a scene. Okay. She is um, a foot taller than him. Uh, I'd like to wait for uh, Tanner to move on, and then I'm going to slide in there and be like, I believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Good cop. A uh, yeah. cop. You wait a few minutes, and Tanner seems to move on to the next person. Uh, and I, be- I beckon the orc lady over here. Okay, she walks over. What do you want? I heard you was talking about flying monkey throwing skulls. <laughs> yeah. And that's the coolest sentence I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was pretty gnarly. I I think some necromancy may be afoot. <laughs> or a skull. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I, I, I look at uh, Tindy like that is the most impressive <laughs> play I have ever heard in my entire life because it is. You welcome, snorkel man. <laughs> I'm here all day because I'm drunk. Uh, this this orc woman uh, who's, who looks like real tough. I mean, is just like wearing full like leather armor and oh, is, yeah. has like covered in scars on her face. Uh, and she looks up and she's like, listen, kid, are you new? <laughs> You've been in town long. Um. Yeah, well, you know, I've I've been around the block. Um. No, I've not. Been <laughs> he's lying. He's yeah, been around... he's been here for like two to three minutes. He's been around the block literally, not figuratively. <laughs> all right, listen. I just made that shit up because I want a fucking reward. All right. <laughs> yeah. I want you... What? <laughs> but don't take it too hard. All right. <sighs> I take it extremely hard. <laughs> so wait, flying monkeys exist or not? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to go up and just start massaging the, uh, snor- Snorkel's shoulders because I, I can okay. tell he feels bad and I feel very upset for my friend right now. Yeah, I definitely just sit on the ground like completely. Yeah, I'm just going to rub the, I'm going to rub in there with all four hands are going. <laughs> I thought you had five. Oh, wait, five. Sorry, I forgot. That oh, he has a chest hand. So yeah. one, on the, one on each shoulder, <laughs> one on each lower back area and one on the neck. That chest hand's really there proud of me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. The the orc woman just kind of watches you for a second, then just kind of slides carefully by and just leaves. Ah oh, man, lost another one. Lost another one. <laughs> you guys, you guys try to find necromancy. I know a little bit about some magic. Oh yeah, tell us about it. I, I just to make I do some magic. Do they sell a uh, pipe weed in this tavern? <laughs> Does anybody know? You're being a little. Let's just focus on the necromancy for a second, and then we'll get to the pipe weed second, okay? okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell us a little more about this necromancy. What's your name again? Tre- I'm Ken. Treedledum. <laughs> and I'm Snorkel, I say. <laughs> Treedledum. Hey, Snorkel. Hey, why are they looking for a necromancer? What? I think there's like a reward or something. I don't know. Man. Only 50,000 gold pieces. Oh. That would... That would double my total income. That's a lot of pipe weed. <laughs> <laughs> that would double your total income. <laughs> um, Deadward, you find this reward a little odd, personally, because you're aware that there's actually a bigger problem going on in Tacby uh, that is not apparently the focus of this guard investigation. You're aware that several minor nobles have just gone missing in Tacby over the last week. And that is, that is, in fact, the story you've been chasing. Ooh. So to hear a new story is a little bit of a shock. So I kind of think that the big story here is not this necromancer. I think we should forget that. Um, what? But I think... It's flying monkeys. How can I forget Are you telling me 50, 50 grand I'm just supposed to ignore? Have you guys not heard about these nobles that have gone missing? Okay? What? It's crazy. Um, All right? I don't heard about this. Look, I don't... I don't have I don't have my my board and string here to like show everything about it, but it's nuts, okay? I I, I sort of like scrunch into my shirt like someone's telling a scary story. <laughs> <laughs> These guys, they're not here anymore. They were here and now they're gone. Where are they where are they at? Where do you know where they are? That's what I'm trying to find out. What's Got the it. reward for one of those guys? 
Uh, Deadward, Deadward, there is no reward posted because the city council is trying to keep it hush. <gasps> Nobody wants you to know about this, but here's the details, okay? Why wouldn't they tell us about the this? The reward is the truth. Yeah, and that would make you insta-famous. What? Again? <laughs> yeah. Like, if you could figure this out, big guy, you would be re-re-famous. Well, finally, a comeback. <laughs> a comeback tour. A return to form. <laughs> like, if you found these noble guys, I bet you 10 nights would buy you drinks. <gasps> 10 nights? We have to do this. That's like 60 drinks or something. Does Deadward know any of like the names of the nobles that I've got oh, missing? Yeah. Is that common knowledge? Oh, yeah, man. I know uh, like all 10, dude. <laughs> Yes, you <laughs> you know that the three nobles who have gone missing over the last week are respectively Marlon Dando. Nice. <laughs> Dando! Uh, Kata Merrick mm-hmm. and Hammond Todd. Hammond Todd. <laughs> you guys got all them? Great. So wait, we got four guys, Ham and Todd Hammond are missing? No, Todd? That's it. Hammond <laughs> Hammond Todd. Okay. Hammond, yeah. Hammond Todd. Who is their kid Ham? <laughs> That's ridiculous. I, lo- I, I like Ham. <laughs> I mean, I do too. Okay, I okay. Like All him. right, guys, guys. Don't worry about their names. I wrote them down. They're in my notes somewhere. Just just don't worry about okay. it. Right okay. All right. I, I ask our bartender friend about these nobles. What? How? What do you ask? Like, hey, you heard about these dead and missing nobles? <laughs> seen any nobles? <laughs> See any missing nobles lately? <laughs> lately. Uh, this, this centaur looks up at you and goes, What? <laughs> we want to be famous, so we're going to find the nobles that are missing. All right, buddy. Do you want to drink or like a sit down? <laughs> like a nap? No, uh, my, my feet are good. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, uh, this, he kind of just leans down the bar toward the rest of you and just looks at you and goes, is he all right? <laughs> I, I nod vigorously. I just met him. I don't know if this is normal or not. <laughs> yeah, this is this is uh, average. This would be average for snorkel. Yeah. Right. All right. Great. Got I'd say it. probably on the on the upper end of the good spectrum for him. Actually, oh, yeah. Oh, we're in for. Well, I think we should snoop for clues and go on an adventure. Snoop for clues. I got two words for you: pipe, weed. <laughs> how much? <laughs> I'm not. I don't. I don't have any weed. <sighs> well, you know what? I'll just pluck a little like bud off of my thing so that you could smoke <laughs> this if you want to try. Uh, what is that going to do? I, uh, I don't know. know. Try it. I'll try anything once. <laughs> oh, man. Do, do you stick that in your pipe and smoke it? Yeah, I'm going to stick it in my pipe and smoke it. Oh, man. He's going to light up in the middle of this bar? It's, it's okay. like olden times. <laughs> it's like 1998. You could smoke it in the pipe. <laughs> you know what? Paul. Yes. Flip intelligence explosives. Intelligence explosives. Oh, All right, no. it's gonna be uh-huh. seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, Great. six, seven. Fucking wonderful. Uh, okay, so here's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I got two successes. One of which is the Queen of Hearts, so that's a crit. So yes. it's three times the Queen of Hearts, so that's three. Mm. So she counts as three, right? Yes, counts as three. So four successes and a Joker. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> is that good? And I get to roll both of those back in after this thing, right? Into my deck? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. So, so that was... Okay, so it was four and a joker? Four and a joker, and I'm going to shuffle them back in. So as you pluck this this bud off, uh, you hear like a tss kind of noise. <laughs> um, and you think, oh, that's weird. I haven't grown an explosive flower in a while. <laughs> uh, and as you are thinking this, uh, and Tindy, as you go to reach for it, uh, it detonates. Oh, God. Oh, my God! <laughs> uh, Tindy, you are knocked backwards off of your stool. And can you have singed one of your hands for four points of damage? Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> and you are currently on fire. <laughs> Would anyone like to buy me another beer, please? <laughs> the bartender just clops over and pours a beer over the fire to put it out. <laughs> There's a very drenched sweetums. <laughs> just kind of crabbly sulk out of the way. <laughs> oh, she's mad. Sweetums is like, Sweetums not having a good morning, no. That's all cue. 
<laughs> we exit yeah, the let's bar get out of here. <laughs> before any mob can form. Yeah, we're out of here. <laughs> so we're out in the street. Yep. Well, uh, okay, you're you're out in this uh, cobblestone street. Sun's up. The morning dew is kind of melting off of everything. Uh, it's and morning? What? <laughs> it's been morning. When did that happen? Uh, and it's basically your average day in Tacby. Nobody seems particularly concerned, but there are a lot of people flooding toward the building that you are currently exiting. Don't worry, no fires in there or nothing that I started anyway. <laughs> they took care of it. Go in there, have a good time though. It's a good place. Hey, uh, hood guy, you want to, you know, tell us who you are maybe? Because... You know, we're kind of just following you around blindly. We have no idea who he you are. He said his name was like Newtown or something. Yeah, what oh, is this? Uh, I didn't know you guys, so I gave you a fake name. Sorry. Oh, great. That's a good way to start off this relationship. <sighs> well, I didn't know you, Gigantors. Sorry. It can take a while to warm up to new people and scenarios. You're tall and intimidating. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Let's enter into this friendship with understanding instead of anger. Yeah, everybody's cool. Just okay. be cool. Be cool. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ah, my name is Deadward R. Morrow. I'm a journalist. I'm a wannabe journalist. And I'm trying to uncover the truth of all this stuff. Uh, I put my hand on your children and say, you're not trying to. You're going to. Next time on Pretend. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Thank you for listening to Pretend Friends. Our theme music is written by Ace Waters. You can find more of his work at acewaters.com. Fantasy Hour is written and developed by Hadley St. Clair with help from Super Tri Studios. You can find more from Hadley on Twitter at Had St. Clair. That's H-A-D-S-T-C-L-A-I-R. Pretend Friends is made by Josh Henderson, Kevin Cole, Nick Murphy, and Paul Ritchie. You can follow us on Twitter at pretend underscore friends and send us an email at heypretendfriends at gmail.com.